Hey everyone, what's up? It's Caitlin McKegg. I am a Phoenix real estate broker. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about the question that is on so many minds out there, is now a good time to buy? I've been getting this question so much, not only from clients and potential clients, but also just from random people that either want advice or are just talking real estate with me. So I figured, Let's talk through that. Let's break down the pros and the cons about buying right now and whether or not it's a good time. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. I'm here every week giving updates on the Phoenix real estate market and other videos related to Phoenix real estate. All right, so let's start with the negative stuff first. Everyone loves to talk about how we're having a market crash, it's the beginning of the crash, it's the beginning of the end, etc., etc. So of course it's a terrible time to buy. So let's talk a little bit more about that. Why would it be a bad time to buy? Well, values are changing kind of rapidly right now. A value one week might be a little bit different in a negative way the next week. And so if you buy today, yes, your value may go down in the short term. Keep in mind, a lot of that depends on location, the type of house, and no one can really predict how much your value could fluctuate in the short term. The second con that I have is interest rates are high. So if you're financing, your monthly payment is gonna be much higher than it would have been three months ago, even if the house was the same price. When you look at your monthly payment and the amount of interest that you pay over the life of a loan, that number is not so pretty right now. And finally, the elephant in the room, Economic uncertainty. There's been a lot of talk of how we are moving towards a recession or in a recession already. Either way, it makes for a lot of uncertainty in the market right now. The biggest reason why people lose money on purchasing a home is because they're forced to sell at a time when they shouldn't. So that's something to consider. What's going on in the economy right now? And if you had to sell, would you be able to sell the property? With all the changes in the economy right now, that might be a question mark. Okay, so enough of that negativity. Let's move on and talk about the pros to buying a house right now. First of all, there's like no competition. I can't even tell you guys how many times I have called on listings recently just to find out that they have no offers and they're considering doing a price reduction. You know what that means? That means leverage for you as a buyer. Which brings me to my next point, negotiating power. The buyers are driving the bus these days, so you finally have a chance to negotiate. After two years of being kicked in the teeth over and over and over again as a buyer, you are finally in a position to have some leverage, to call the shots a little bit, and hopefully find a good deal. If you remember, one of my cons was that the interest rate is high. I'm gonna turn that into a pro for you because here's something that a lot of sellers are willing to do right now. Rather than cutting the price, they're willing to buy down your interest rate to give you a more affordable monthly payment. Although prices may feel like they're on the high end at the moment, getting that rate buy down can really change your monthly payment to make it really affordable in the long term. Finally, your timing of buying right now could potentially be during the dip. No one really knows what's gonna be coming next if we're going to continue on a downward trend in terms of values, stay the same, or go back up. But at this point, you're certainly able to buy some Thing a little bit more affordable than it was a few months ago and have a bit more negotiating power. So if you're buying at the dip, you know that in the future, you're just going to see more price appreciation over the long term. Remember, the only time you lose money on a house is when you sell at a time where you shouldn't be selling. If you plan to purchase a home and hold on to it for the long term, more than likely, you're going to see some appreciation in that property. So just to summarize, the cons of buying a home right now, in the short term, your value might fluctuate a little bit. There's economic uncertainty and interest rates are high right now. The pros are that your competition is low, you have great leverage and negotiating power, you have the ability for a seller to potentially buy down your rate, and you may be buying at the dip and are in for some great appreciation in the long term. Now I'm sure I'm gonna get comments from many of you saying that I shouldn't be advocating for people to buy right now. I think it's important to say that 
you should only buy if you can afford to do so. so. Keep in mind that point of economic uncertainty. What is your job situation like? Are you comfortable being able to cover a mortgage payment even if you lose your job or if you have a job change? All of those are things to consider outside of just looking at the real estate market. So make sure you're making a decision that's right for you. There you have it. Those are all the pros and cons of buying a home right now. So hopefully that answered the question for you if it is the right time to buy or not. If you have have any questions in particular, you can reach out to me anytime by call, text, or email, or check the description below. I have a link to set up a time to chat. I also have some other helpful links in there as far as searching my MLS, getting an instant home value, and getting a relocation guide, so make sure to check that out. Thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. I appreciate it. Hit subscribe, come back next week, and I will see you all then. I'm Caitlin McKegg with the Desert Dreamers team at HomeSmart.